Hello and welcome to another episode of Lisp Game Engine uh, Devlog. So uh, today is week, uh, okay, the week of uh, February 12th of 2024. And yeah, it's been pretty rough week. So I've got a lot of stuff going on in my day job. And there was some terrible news at the end of this week. But yeah, we still hold on and move on. Uh, so yeah, the what happened this week? So this week I think I finally fixed the macOS version of my game, like of my uh, engine code. So if you go to each .io official app under macOS, and if you find this mana break game of ours, and if you launch it, it would work. I mean, I swear it, it would work. So you can, yeah, it opens this DMG and you can run this <clears throat> binary and yeah, that works, that should work. Uh, so yeah, thanks to Vasily for uh, this, um, for mentioning this bug. So I finally think uh, I get this version for macOS that is working. Okay, so that was on Monday. So I fixed both this mana break game and the template for the uh, game uh, in Common Lisp. So you can get the link uh, below this video. Uh, I will put all the, all the links um, down below. Uh, so yeah, the template and both this game are fixed. So for for you to use so what next so next i was um yeah working on this uh, ui library of mine so as you can remember on last video i was showing how uh, the interface of this uh, ui dsl would look like and i worked a little bit on improving that so right now it is even better so now the macro is called dev window and it resembles more the like the defun uh, standard macro right or is it a macro or a special form i think it's a macro so yeah the um this basic entry point to this uh, API of mine is now looking more or less like the font. So you define the name of your window as the symbol. You can also specify title if you want in options uh, further. So then you specify the extra parameters because this uh, def window macro basically expands uh, to the lambda, uh, to the anonymous functions. So you can specify extra parameters if you want uh, for your lambda and you you'll be able to supply them. Uh, so then you also, um, you could specify some parameters, so you could specify width, some height. I mean, they, there are some defaults for that, but uh, yeah, you can specify your own. Then you can specify styles for that window. It's also possible, so you know, the nuclear underlying nuclear library, it got very um, like advanced system of styling. So you can like tweak almost every aspect of your widgets. Uh, so yeah, here we change the background of the window uh, to be, uh, to have some specific color and this color would be just red. So then starts the body of that Lambda, right? So in here you also could use some declarations like you would in the regular Defun, right? And then you just use the, some other macro, macroses. Again, what's the plural for macro, ma ma macros? You use some macros from this declarative part of the library. So you specify some laying out, again, some styles for the progress bar, then you specify the progress bar and then some label as we've seen in the last video. So we can actually load it and I think it should even work. So let's see. Um, Let's just try and run this code. And yeah, it does work. And as you can also see, yeah, the background color of that window, which spans the whole screen is red. And as you can also see, I've uh, output in, uh, I'm outputting the, um, uh, the FPS counter and the, I, I've turned off the vertical synchronization. So it just makes, uh, as lot uh, frames per second as it 
it can possibly uh, as it could possibly can so um, in uh, as we can see it is around 10,000 FPS which is really cool result I think and again we can have a look at this assembly for this uh, window function right and it's not really that much so it got like five memory allocations which again is not very good but yeah I'm working on it and also we get yeah like uh, 1000 like a little bit over than one kilobyte of uh, machine code so yeah this is this is pretty good I think so yeah that's the interface so um, I also did some tweaks for this uh, UI library of mine, which also ended up in Lucky Lambda repository. Uh, again, link below so you can add it to your Lisp implementation and use it. Uh, and yeah, the third thing uh, I was working on is the actual game for the game jam I've signed up for, but not a lot of progress there because, yeah, again, busy week and quite rough week uh, but still i got this uh, so let me show you the untitled 88 so then we go to src let's open that so basically i haven't done a lot let me just start a new REPL and let me just switch to another so how do i switch to another directory set cvd is it like cvd uh no, get cvd Ch change directory i think is it change god damn it no uh, yeah, CHDR. So I gotta change to where. Uh, yeah, awkward. So I gotta change to Progs Game uh, Find Idolt 88. Yeah, that's the directory, not even SRC. I think that's what we need. And then we can actually quick load this, um, this code of mine. And I can finally show you what it does. So untitled 88. Yeah, here we are. So it loads again a bunch of libraries. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the problem. Ah, yeah. That's a known problem. It sometimes happens with life support library for some reason. I don't know why. So let's just accept. I don't know. Okay. And then we can do untitled 88 main. Yep. Nope. Oh, crap. So damn it. Why it happens? I mean, let me just try again. Yeah, and the second time it works, it's very weird. So yeah, that's the stuff I have right now. So it's basically a map. So it is loaded from the from the tiled map editor, which I use for mapping needs in my games. So I think it would be that one, or let's just reopen. Yeah, that's one. Uh, so as we can see, it is basically the same. And yeah, all those uh, tiles, those eight by eight pixel tiles are rendered uh, in this game. So that's basically it. It's like reliably uh, does 75 fps and that's basically it so yeah that's it for now so i think we would be adding some mm, character movement and then we would do sh just very basic uh, some kind of puzzles right so in the style of you can't move there until you just press that button here I mean, we will figure that out, uh, me and my mate who, who helps, helps me with the uh, game design and, well, the content of the game. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we would uh, post some game to this game jam, which ends this Monday uh, night. Um, so yeah, hopefully it would be some entry to this game jam from us. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's uh, all <clears throat> I've done this week. So the next week I would be probably busy with this UI framework. So then I can finally finish and commit that and have this nice declarative UI for all of my games and for all, for the game engine I'm working on. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it from me for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you want more, subscribe to my Twitch channel uh, down below. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah, have a nice week and see you next week.